bleeding disorders are broken down into abnormalities with primary hemostasis and secondary hemostasis. Primary hemostasis is due to platelet problems and will have an elevated bleeding time on labs. Secondary hemostasis is due to coagulation factor problems, which will be discussed in more detail in other questions. Platelet disorders can be broken down into dysfunctional platelets causing thrombocytopenia and a decreased number of platelets. Some of the causes of dysfunctional platelets are von Willebrand disease, Glanzmann's disease, bernard solier disease, multiple myeloma, renal failure, and cyclooxygenase inhibitors. Just this statement means that choices A, B, D, and E are all due to dysfunctional platelets. Some examples of problems that decrease platelets are ITP, HUS, DIC, heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, dilutional, transfusion purpura, gestational thrombocytopenia, and EDTA. Choice C, EDTA, is the correct answer. This substance is an anticoagulant that causes platelet clumping in some patients. It is considered an artifact. Consider this problem in someone who has normal platelets and the next day it acutely drops to a very low number without any signs of bleeding.